what is good y'all today i am going to be showing you a new product that i just tried it's supposed to be trailblazing within women feminine care health and hygiene and it is called the flex cup let's get into the review so this is the flex cup whenever you order it it will come in a box like so it actually comes in two sizes depending on your menstrual flow uh size one is for a lighter flow which is the equivalent of two tampons um and then size two is the equivalent of three so this is supposed to actually help as far as keeping the earth green um eliminating less waste throwing away less paper products things like that but this is also supposed to um be better than using tampons once you open up the box um the one that i got is actually the beginner kit and in the beginner kit it comes with a few things so you have the bag and which is a holder for your flex cup this is what you use to store your cup when you are not using it or when your cycle is not there then there is also a disc y'all i didn't use the disc um don't know too much about it but i saw that um others use this disc but it, these are called the flex disc y'all i can only learn one new gadget at a time maybe at some point i will try to use these who knows and then next you get two instruction manuals one instruction manual is for the flex cup one instruction manual is for using the disc. Because I'm here to talk to you about the Flex Cup, this is the one that we will use. And now let me introduce you to the cup. It is the Flex Cup. This is how it will look as soon as you get it out of the box. You definitely want to give this a good rinsing with um, warm water and soap um, so that you can make sure it is properly clean. I also recommend that anytime you are handling this, you want to make sure that your hands are completely, completely clean for your safety. So when you remove it out of the box, this right here is the pull tab that actually works like the string of a tampon, which helps you be able to remove the Flex Cup from you um, in an easier manner. However, when you're preparing for first use, you want to actually pull the pull tab up and out so that you can clean the flex cup thoroughly you clean all of it make sure that it's rinsed all that and then you insert the tab back in pull through like so and now you got your cup so the instruction manual was actually my best friend whenever i first got this product i read through this manual a few times because i was very unsure about this um but i heard about the flex cup from a few friends and things like that but in the manual you will see information about the cup you will see different folding techniques that you can use in order to insert the cup it gives you information about how you need to position yourself in order to insert the cup and it gives you a few different pictures of what is going on inside your body while the cup is inserted these are just a few of the illustrations within the manual for the flex cup so here's the cup the cup is designed to collect all of the waste that comes from your vaginal area during your monthly cycle it's supposed to be able to collect the waste um and it's supposed to um be able to withstand 12 hours of usage 12 hours y'all now i definitely would not push this to the test and use this thing for 12 hours at all because i would just be um nervous that hey you know it might overflow or something um, so, but I did use it for five to six hours at a time and I can say that it worked. I didn't have any leakage, no spillage or anything. So whenever you get ready to insert this for the first time, you're going to fold it like so. You want to fold it in a C shape, or at least that's what I found works for me. And you want to either be in a standing position, um, seated position or in a shower. And you want to insert this part into your vaginal canal, just like you would insert a tampon. Once it is inserted, you want to move it up towards your cervix. Whenever you move it up and towards your cervix, the, you will release it and it will open up inside of you like so. So it will just sit there just like a little tulip right there in your vaginal walls and in the vaginal cavity, collecting everything that's coming through and you just wear it um i didn't feel it uh i didn't feel any discomfort at all i honestly feel like i feel a tampon inside of me more than i feel this flex cup y'all and again i wore it for five to six hours at a time with a panty liner um the instructions actually say whenever you're a beginner always wear a panty liner or a pad with it just in case you have any type of leakage but even for me being a beginner i didn't have any leakage after five to six hours so that's interesting um but when the cup opens up there are suction cups around the side that suction and vacuum seal into the onto your vaginal walls and that allows the cup to stay in place without any spillage um, um if the cup is inserted properly so the cup will collect any waste and whenever you are ready to remove it you will take the pull string and you will remove it like so now i do recommend if you have any type of toilet wipes or anything like this um i prefer the summer's eve um feminine wipes i use this feminine wipe whenever i was handling this cup to make sure that i didn't get this cup dirty so when it was time for me to remove i would take one of these wipes and i would put that wipe on my fingers and pull the pull tab and that way i didn't have to worry about any type of leakage or waste on myself um once you pull it out you can empty the contents of what's inside into the toilet then you have to rinse and wash with warm water or there is a flex cup foam um cleaner that you can also get go ahead and clean this with soap and warm water um or you can get the flex cup cleaning foam as well amazon has that too and you clean it to perfection once it is thoroughly cleaned you go ahead fold it again into the c-shape or whatever shape is best for you and reinsert and repeat so you essentially do this where on a given day the average person or the average woman could go through about um five to eight tampons a day depending on the type of data they have and the absorbency of the tampon with the flex cup you typically would change this thing maybe three to four times a day like if you want to change it every four hours you can if you want to change it every six hours you can it's really up to you and what you're comfortable with and, and how your how heavy your flow is but it definitely works the one thing that i want to say about this too is i enjoy sleeping with this in because i was able to sleep without having to worry about any type of leakage or um, spillage or anything like that it was very comfortable and on the scale of one to ten i would actually rate this a ten as far as the ease of use a ten as far as how it felt inside and a ten as far as um just the amount of time that it was able to provide me five to six hours is all i did and then i would change it and that worked for me so this is something new within the uh, feminine hygiene world called the flex cup um definitely if you are a tampon user and you want to try something that's a little bit more green and friendly for the earth this is the route to go um again whenever it's not in use you can go ahead and place it in the baggie 
And once you put it in the bag, you seal the bag, store it in a nice dresser or cabinet in your bathroom, and let it be stored until your next cycle. I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you learned something new. Since you wanted to know what the Flex Cup was, this is my honest review. Share the video, like, share, comment, and subscribe. Bye, y'all.